Hello, all you beautiful wild people out there. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Six, D- Six Days of Sacrifice. I'm here with my friend and co-host. Hey, y'all. It's Araya. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> we're doing the second episode. Uh, oh, gosh. Poor, poor our main character. Our main character is bre- beaten, brattered, bruised. It's just not a good <laughs> situation. Um, poor Theodore to 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 cab to cave. I can't believe I can't believe people like Theo get bullied. Every time I see any Theos in media, they end up getting bullied, and I don't understand this the the Theo slander and hatred. I like one of my great friends' name is Theo. Thank you very much. They were on our podcast. Check out our podcast. Um, I I have two friends whose name is Theo. That's crazy. There are two Theos. (laughs) Both of them are trans. That's crazy. It's okay. Does that make Theo? What, what does that mean about Theodore Ro- Roosevelt, our president? What does that mean? Oh, 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 gosh. Well, I wasn't alive back then, but you know, like you know, <laughs> he could have had a secret for all. I- I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that. That's that's, that's too far. Anyways, how's that too far? <laughs> what happened last time? Um, last time. No, I don't know. I'm speculating on people who are real and speculating good, on anything like is allowed as long as you're not being serious about it. Fair enough. Uh, it's like if you're speculating on someone's like relationship status or something and like fixating on them too much watch Oshinoko by the way um then that's bad but like if you are if you're just doing it just because like not even in a way of like being serious about it I don't see that being problematic especially if they're dead okay well that's fair I guess that's fair if they're if if he was alive and still our president I don't think we should speculate so much but like it's been <laughs> like hundreds of years since he he existed as our president, you know? <laughs> Obviously that's not the case. But it's 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 great. It's great to act like Theodore Roosevelt existed so far long ago even though it's been like what? Like I mean it it has it has been over 100 years. But it hasn't been 3. It just has not yet been 200 years. Nope. It will be one day though. <laughs> Um, I'm just thinking in the future, you know? I think about everything in a very vast way that no, none of you idiots would ever understand. So, what happened last yeah. time is that we fell down an elevator shaft. I've never fallen down oh, an elevator shaft, but... Huh? By the way, um, Teddy Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt was president in 1901 to 1909. Yeah. So, it's just over 100 years old ago. Cool. Still, I think that's <laughs> fair to speculate, then. <laughs> okay. Theodore Roosevelt <laughs> with trans, everybody. Um, oh, gosh. I guess, oh. My favorite trans icon, Theodore Roosevelt. Um, yeah, absolutely. God. Anyways, uh, we met We met, two, we met a few people, actually, we met, uh, last time. We met Trilby, Tr- Trilby's number one stan. We met... And Trilby's number two stan. All versions. Because of, one of them died. All versions of Trilby. We saw them. <laughs> um... Like everyone, I, I'm assuming all these mer- mercenaries are working for them and are all dressed like Trilby for a specific reason that will be explained later. They all worship Trilby. It's true. <laughs> it's because um, if he was wearing Janine. a fedora, they would have never worshipped him like that. Yep. Um. So we also met the doctor, who is a yeah, Samantha Hardy. Samantha Hardy, who is Philip Hardy's an- like not ancestor, the opposite of ancestor, descendant. Descendant. There it is. Mm-hmm. Um. And th- we also met uh, whatever ever her the the other bitch's name was uh, Jay uh, Janine or or Zajowski or whatever or yeah, Zajowski some dumb dumbass last name and the problem is is that we ran around <laughs> Jesus Jay um, whoa what? whoa that's like a Polish name come on <laughs> I said what did I say I said whatever the fuck their last name <laughs> you is. said some you said so- <laughs> some stupid ass oh, last did name you say I I feel you said so- a dumbass last name and I was like whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I'm, I, if, if I can't pronounce it, then it's a dumb last name. Those are the rules. <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah, I'm not saying it's too far. I'm just, I'm just being like, whoa, Jay. I'm cool. I, I don't think that that's an entirely bad thing for me to say. I love you. I love you yeah, too, I'm kid. I'm just, I'm just... Um, the problem is, is that Planet. last names that aren't, are like, like, why couldn't it have been like Wilson? Something cool like that, you know? <laughs> no bias at all. Um, mm-hmm. so the problem is, is that we all got, like, we ran around down here, the tall man came in, murdered Trilby number one, and then we, we had to go find guns. We found Janine, got guns, took him back, and then, then the, another Trilby a, 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 appeared with, uh, what was his name? Fucking C something, uh. It was, uh, oh shit. 
calling, calling something, calling. It was, it was, it's canning, canning. Canning. There it is. Um, canning, yeah. canning well, was standing we there with the trilby. We went and ambushed canning. We went and ambushed canning, mm-hmm. and then trilby walked in. It, and then trilby walked in, and before it, we could all die, the last, let the lights flash, and then Buddha appears, and Buddha saves yeah. us. <laughs> Uh, Jay referred to him as Buddha in the Countdown trilogy, by the way. If any so, not, so Buddha saves that. our lives as he does, and he says, "Go lock yourself in the in the the quarters or whatever." So after doing that, we we're here and we went to sleep, and now it's day two. Yeah, we went to bed. It looks like Janine and Samantha have already gone somewhere, so it is day two. Let's go. And yeah, we do have that menu on the top. We've got that phone. We've got that phone in the journal. Um, it's true. It won't open. Which is pretty cool. Almost like something's holding it shut from the inside. That's not helpful. Let's go over here. Isn't that how a lock works? Yeah, it, it is how that how a lock works. It's true. Like holding it from the inside? I, I don't know. It doesn't, maybe it doesn't have a lock in its... Oh, Hello? shit. Who are you? I'm not going to hurt you. Is your mother around? Or your father? Not mine. Oh, shit. My god, your eyes. What happened to your eyes? Oh god. Oh shit. Holy shit. <laughs> ah, good, you're up. We can discuss the plan. Plan? The door has now been unlocked. Our next move will be t- to take the canning hostage. Again? If at first you don't succeed... Try, try again. His door is being guarded by the Trilby Guard. It will be your task to distract him. Why me? The threat of physical violence must be made to get Canning under control. You, obviously, cannot make this threat, so it has to be me. Damn. It's not my fault. All you have to do is lure the guard away from the main corridor, giving me the chance to slip in. How will you know when the coast is clear? Do you have a cell phone? Yes, of course. Take my number. We can't the reach the outside world, but we should still be able to make calls within the complex. <laughs> That's definitely not how phones work. Call when you have achieved your objective, or if there are points you wish to discuss. Okay. I'll give you Janine's number too. Unless, like, oh, I- I'm sure you have, you still have many questions for both of us. Click on the phone uh, so you right-click the phone in your inventory to call someone from your list of contacts. Cool. I, I feel like, um, oh shit, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I feel like maybe, like the only way that could work is if like somehow the, uh, this like facility like hijacked phone, your phones and like made them think yeah. they were on a different network. But I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't believe we just like got that girl's phone number. Is it that easy in real life? Is that how I get girls numbers? Get trapped with them point. in an underground bunker? You know, maybe don't try that. I wouldn't be like, trapping us, or else, like, or else it wouldn't be the same situation. Okay. I'd hire someone else to trap us both down there. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's a cult activity. If you're like, if you're like, get, get into a situation where you're trapped with somebody like this, and then you end up like helping each other out of it and like becoming friends and something more, maybe eventually, then like that's another thing. But like, but like, setting up that situation, that's a little too far. I wouldn't be setting it up. The cult would remember. Well, yeah, but you're, you're, you're hiring them. That's not what I said. You that is what you that, said, this actually. This is lies and slander. <laughs> so, oh, we're adding this, this journal to our journal. Yep. Twice did the... Tw- oh, this looks like uh, the Book of Chiseau thing. Yeah. Twice did the 28th day of the seventh month pass, and the prince gazed with great concern upon the light of technology as the carving of the slave passed through the hands of a great many ignorant men of technology, but the king would not let him... T- would not let him take his vengeance. For he said, the guide seeks the carving of the slave, and it is through his this desire he shall fulfill his destiny. It will not be long before the guide learns that his duty has not yet been completed, and then he shall do as I have foreseen. And as the king said it, so it was so, for the bridge keeper did touch one of the ignorant men, and by their con- conjoined hands was th- the thief wife thrown down, and truly did she know the name of the king. Oh, that's Simone's death. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. And for with this act, the guide said, I see you know, Bridgekeeper. I have found you. 
And I have not forgotten. And he came to the tree that was the prince's soul, for it was here that the carving of the slave had been brought. Whack. Anyways, we're gonna check yeah, this she, again. Trophy's notes. Yeah, now there's like a gold thing on it. It won't open. Oh, that's like the oh. code. Mi amor? amor. That's yeah, that's love. Mm-hmm. Umer. Amor. Emor. Emor. Omor. Omori. Omor. That, we're gonna play that Omori. game one day. That's a game we're gonna play eventually, yeah. That's what I say. <laughs> I can't believe this. Having the same thoughts as me. Oh shit, Janine's uh, okay, back Janine's here. over here. Huh, we've never been in here. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that our dream was like so accurate about this room. Yeah, it's true. Kind of scary. <laughs> There's a cushion in the background which terrifies me. I'm not sure if I should be praying to someone yet. Oh, you're supposed to pray to this. It's like an idol. Just grab the note. That makes sense. Add it to my journal. Book of Prayers. 2-7. Oh, now we're getting into Bible territory. <laughs> the body is the physical form. It is the sum of what time has made it to be, and so it is of the past. The mind is sharp and logical. It concerns itself with here, the here and now, and so it is of the present. The soul is love and hope. It is the dreams of what is to come, and so it is of the future. Whack. Body, mind, soul, past, present, future. It, we give thanks for them all in the name of the king. I don't want to know the name of the king. <laughs> um, either it's locked or the door's stuck. That's not good. I don't either, considering how the how they've talked about it in the microwave. Texts. I don't have anything to cook. It's true. Let's go outside. You're not gonna talk to Janine? Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, the other people don't exist. I can call them if I need them. Fair enough. We are gonna hobble our way out. We need to find something to distract the guard with. I suppose you're right about that. It's, we're gonna, I'm gonna check every room to find something something new. Oh shit! Literally no idea. Okay. Oh shit. You'll never catch me alive, copper! Ah, he's chasing you. Back in here I go. No, I don't. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Get in. Well, oh, man. We'll see about your friends soon enough. Damn you, Trilby. Well, that sucks. Literally no idea how to open it. I guess we're stuck. We can call one of them. We're not? Uh, I right click. Oh. Who should I call? Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Jammer in the cell. Hmm. Huh, so. Looks like your gun was taken. Yep, everything's gone. Big heavy metal and electronic. God knows how Sam and Janine got through this. <gasps> you again! Destiny calls. What the hell? <laughs> Whoa! Oh god, it's some kind of ancient skeleton dressed in the remnants of an anorak. There's a, a huge hole in the back of its skull, too. Oh, so it got shot in the face. Shells presumably for the storage. That's not what I wanted to look at. Disturbance? Yeah. Oh. Fuck me. Try... yeah. No, I think the disturbance is, uh, is, is reading as, as when you look at it as the shelf. Try touching it. Oh, you're right. Oh, oh, never mind, that worked. Never mind. Some kind of manifestation hovering above the ground. It looks so strange in my eyes, like a black hole in the air itself. By the way, I don't remember exactly what to do for everything. I, I have a guy pulled up if we need it, but, um, yeah. I want to touch it. It won't let me touch it. Okay. Is there, is there... Well, that's interesting. You've just been sprung, I guess. It's true. Buddha does not <laughs> want us stuck in a cell. Yeah. Well, I guess we gotta try again. Mm -hmm. So we gotta distract. Uh, we gotta distract him. Well, that's the that's the entryway. We gotta distract him. We keep running in circles, and he'll never try catch to get us off the screen this time. Keep going. Hmm. 
So it looks like it won't chase you off the side of the screen. It does seem so. So I guess we just have to run around directly in this room. So do you know do you know what you're trying to distract him from? I'm assuming oh, from the, the room that he's guarding. Hmm. So maybe you could let someone know that you've successfully distracted him. It looks like this this, this side of the hallway is, is less useful than the other side because it's shorter. What? Yes, Mr. Dakov, go ahead. I got the guard away from the door. Yeah. Oh god, he's right behind you. You sure? Excellent. Meet me outside the office door. Oh, good luck with that. Oh. Ah! Oh, I did not mean to skip all that. Well, that's a problem. We'll see about your friends soon enough. It's, uh, it's probably fine. Don't worry it's about it. It's probably um, fine. So maybe that didn't work because maybe they want you to uh, to get them farther away. It's true. Somehow. Now we gotta wait for Buddha. Destiny calls, baby. How do we get him further if he won't follow us off screen? And there's still nothing in here, right? Yep, just full medical supplies. Nope. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, I see. I see what you have to do. You gotta find an object. Nope, that's where it just came from. You don't need to find an object. So what do I you do? Need to, you need to lead tr the Trilly lookalike somewhere. Into one of and these it's rooms? not off the side of the screen. It's into one of the rooms. What? What? Which of these rooms do you think would be the most distracting? I really think. What would be something that? Well, I guess in here because there's blood, right? Maybe. Mm, well, there is blood, but that's that's from you. There, well, there's blood in the door. Do maybe we can do the tall man thing again. I mean, maybe. We're gonna wait to, to attempt. Okay, Trilby, look. He's to your left currently. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, Trilby, look like. Come here, buddy. I guess it not, looks like he did not follow you in here. Not in here. I guess we just gotta get him to follow us in every room and then figure something out. Yeah, I mean, I can save you some time if that's your plan. Well, I mean, I guess walking around other rooms, maybe we'll find something better. Already looked in there, it didn't seem very... There's the surveillance room, there's the closet. Oh, wait, it's in here for the fucking... For the disturbance. There is the disturbance and also like a weird corpse there so that, that, that is a weird room and i don't think that corpse was there earlier nope corpse husband <laughs> come here buddy come here pal there we go light what the hell is that oh shit The hotel. Oh God, let me out. Well, you got the guard away from the door. <laughs> Gotta make a phone call. <laughs> yes, Mr. Dick, oh, Dick, 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 go ahead. Hardy. Uh, got the guard away from the, I got the guard away from the door. Yeah. You're sure? Excellent. Meet me outside the office door. Jesus. Cool. All right. So we just committed we a murder. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 the prince did. Oh, oh uh, no. <laughs> Honey, get wait. me my horse tranquilizers. Now, so there's just there's just a little overlay, overlay, right? Like we're we're largely in the same place, but there's a, there's a little bit of an overlay of something else. Not again, oh, father. Ready? As I'll ever be. 
Let's do this, then. Dr. Hardy? Yes? The guard's dead. He's dead because of me. You killed him? I led him to a monster. They tore him to shreds. Excuse me. It couldn't have been helped. A man died because of my actions. You must not agonize over every little thing. <laughs> if you did, he'd go insane. You call it little? No, of course not. We're wasting time. Come on. Oh, so she's evil wow. is what you're saying. Again, Dr. Hardy? Aren't you tired of this yet? Your pet guard won't be able to help you this time, Canning. My pet? I would say he was as much as yours as mine, wouldn't you? Shut up! As she told you about the work she was doing for us, sir. Uh... I said shut up! Get moving. And no funny business, or you get a bullet in the, in the leg to help you along. Go on in. Okay, Canning, you're completely at our mercy, and you're going to tell us exactly what we want to know, understand? First and foremost, how do we call the elevator? You don't. The one in, in the main corridor can only be called from an upper floor by a high-ranking acolyte. Looks like we'll have to get used to each other, my dear. There's gotta be another way up. Oh, there is. It's in the hub. But you'll never get past the security locks to open the blast doors. <laughs> we will, because you are going to tell us how. Oh, this is laughable. <laughs> You're trying so hard to do it like they do in any action movies, aren't you? What are you going to do? Torture me? You really think I, an acolyte of the Order of Blessed Agonies, would be scared of pain? I've done to myself far worse things than you could dream of. Hmm. So now what? Now we have to open the hub security door. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Feel free to question the prisoner. I'm sure you could benefit from his knowledge. You don't trust her. She saved my life. And yet, you don't trust her. You wonder what it is, what it is she's hiding, do you not? Quiet. You understand so little. Well, this is a problem. Give me a sec. I gotta go back to sound mixing again because this is being weird. It's all, it's like louder yep. for some reason. Maybe I maybe need... it's just the track that's louder. Like that track is louder or something. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down to 25 and see if that helps. Okay. No, it's still just as loud. I don't understand. Did you turn it back? Oh wait, I didn't turn it. Did back. Did you turn the I... sound setting back to headphones? Right now, I'm going to. Or better cable, I mean. Well, that's yeah. better. Cool. Okay, so here's the thing. Is we're having problems. We're gonna, like, have to, um, question this guy. Yeah, it looks like we have to question him. Converse. Look, uh, looks like you failed, old man. <clears throat> we're loose and you're locked up. I wouldn't count your chickens if I were you. That's not how the saying goes. There are many more to take my place. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but your guard's dead. Really? Doesn't that bother you? Should it? Do you even understand the situation? Should I? <laughs> of course. I don't think you do, though. Why? I don't think you do, though. And if you did, you'd know that my guard's condition may not be as permanent as you believe. Wait, so is it the same guy? Huh. Can't you see that your order is abandoning you? The complex is completely evacuated. The building on the surface is too. Rubbish. The facility was too expensive to simply abandon as soon as, we, as work was complete. My brethren will return. So what's the deal with this cult? The deal? The deal is that the Order of Blessed Agonies has existed for centuries. We believe in the true way to purification. Purification through suffering. 
We practice the blessed agonies of the mind, body, and soul to wash ourselves of sin. And one day... One day what? N nothing. you got some big agenda, haven't you? That's what this is all about. You're, not, you're gonna take over the world? Like some Saturday morning cartoon villain? I said nothing. Tell me about these blessed agonies, because we need to know more. I'm still very concerned. <laughs> why? Thinking of applying. Just tell me. I don't see why not. For an individual to be fully purified, all three aspects of themselves must experience blessed agony. The agony of the body, physical pain, beating, burning, and cutting. The agonies of the mind, boredom, fear, and insanity. And the agony of the soul, which is more refined. It's about destroying someone or something the subject loves utterly. Like Jason from GT Live. And you do all yeah. this to yourself again and again? The agony of the soul can only be experienced once. But apart from that, you are correct. This is insane. To you, maybe. But you know the same peace as I. The same utter contentment that comes with the knowledge that you are of absolute purity. That's not how purity works. I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> I mean, hey, if he's happy, right? I don't think he is. <laughs> this is like Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, you're probably right. Why are we being held here? Surely that should be obvious. You are held here to protect the secret that this complex exists. Then why didn't you just kill us? I would have done had I received the order, but I did, but I did not. Then what do you want from us? My superiors know. In time, they will let me know too. What work was Dr. Hardy doing for you? Oh boy. We need answers. Why don't you ask her? She won't tell me. And do you think I would? Oh no, young man, this is something you have to see for yourself. I'd hate to spoil the surprise. No alarms and no surprises like the Radiohead song. Who is the tall man in black? The prince, as he, you would call him. Ah, I see you've met the prince. There it is. You should consider yourself lucky. That thing is the prince? What the hell is he? I'm not inclined to spilling the secrets of, an, of the order to an outsider. Even if I were, very few acolytes are privy to the secrets known by the prince. And even the highest-ranking members know only slightly more than I. Do you know who the man in red is? Who? Completely bald man in a red robe. Buddha, as I'd call well, him. That's kind of like your too. red robes, but all torn up. Is he one of your people? I'm afraid I have no idea who you're talking about. All the acolytes of Jizo take very good care of their robes. I got nothing more to say right now. All right, well, I guess that was all we're gonna get out of canning. Away we go. Very interesting to talk to somebody who's like in the order. It's true. <laughs> this place looks bad. No shit. <laughs> this place is not cool anymore. It's mm -hmm. lost all of its charm. I wonder what we're supposed 287. to 287, oh my god. Oh. Look, that's July 28th, but British. Stupid British people. <laughs> First people aren't even real. Alright, security room. Nothing different in here, really. Can we still not go in here? Yep. I'm assuming the monitor will be the same way. Nothing big has changed in here. Guess we should just go through all the rooms and see if there's anything different. Still won't open. And that's the closet. Hmm. Well, we did. Oh, now there's just yep, a that's... blood blood stain. <laughs> uh, well, we could go. Um, Not touching. We could go report to like go, go check in with Sam and Janine now that we've finished interrogating the prisoner. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. 
since they got to figure out how to how to oh, open wait, it's the, back this way open the door to that to that that, that that big steel yellow door that we saw the hub right yeah so maybe they're working on that maybe they have some ideas yeah i know that's father but i it made me think about heather for some reason whenever i first looked at it <laughs> heather i i wish <laughs> i were heather you know um I heather <laughs> I was thinking, when I heard that, the first day I popped in my head was Heather's the Musical. It's true. I thought about the Conan Gray song. Wish I were Heather. I still remember the 3rd of September. December. Was it September? Sweater. I think so. I still remember the 3rd of I don't remember. Or either 3rd of September or November. I don't Somehow I thought it was December, but I, I used to maybe know it, maybe it is December. So maybe maybe it's just that I also haven't heard that song in forever. You might be right. You're probably right, honestly. Maybe it's November. It's something Another, Ember. Yeah, it's December. I still remember the third of December. Me. Cool. And your sweat yeah, because and sad, yeah, because I know people who still post who still day post day that song every third of December, and I'm like, dude, come on. How much alive? Janine. But I, oh yeah yes. <laughs> What do you think we should Watch do now? Eyes as she walks by. What a Janine, sense. stop singing, goddammit. I'm not sure. Maybe you should ask Sam. Damn you, Janine. What do you think we should do now? Oh, I'm not sure, same I'm thing. I'm not sure you should. Yeah, sorry, wait, yeah, that one doesn't go away. Oh, okay. So you were the one who sent the tip? <laughs> yeah. No week ago, when I found this place, I sent the tip straight to the police. Minutes later, they caught me and threw me in the cell. That makes sense. I was expecting them to send a SWAT team or something. <clears throat> no offense. Real life doesn't work like that. I can't send in the guns just because an anonymous person says there's an unregistered basement extension. Sending a building inspector was pretty much all they could have done legally. I guess you can blame me for getting you in this mess, huh? Stupid bit. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Fuck you. You weren't the one who pushed me down an elevator shaft. And you're also not bald, which <laughs> makes me trust you more. What 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 do you make of wow. Dr. Hardy? I don't I, I'll be honest, I don't trust Buddha completely. That's fair. All well, not all religious figures are bald. I find it interesting how similar Sam Hardy is to Philip Hardy in a way. Like, even though they're, they're different people. Yeah, it's true. I think they speak in a similar fashion. They're very matter-of-fact about things. Mm -hmm. um, what do you make of Dr. Hardy, though? I love that, the, the way that's worded. Yeah. What do you make of her? What do you make of Dr. Hardy? I, I, I probably don't know much more about, about, you than, about her than you. She was already in the cell when they threw me in there. And yes, I've asked her many times of what kind of work she was doing for the cult. And then no, she wouldn't tell me either. If you want to find out more, you'll, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. Hey, she may be, you, you may not like her, but not, she's not a horse. Do you think it's alright to trust her? She's got no more love for the cult than us. I mean, if she is secretly still working for them, then she's the most convincing actress in the world. It's true. Tell me about Trilby. I want to know about Trilby, too. The character? Well, he was the main character in a bunch of horror movie serials, which were based on a series of novels from that er from the early 20th first century. 20th first. But someone sent me some rare old newspapers, and they suggest Trilby was a real person. He was. I remember him. Really? He was a cat burglar, the original master thief. <laughs> Finally arrested around the mid-1990s. The story goes that he joined some secret government agency. It's true. He did do that. And they encouraged the novelist to fictionalize Trilby, that, that people would eventually forget he was ever real. And I'll tell you something else. There was a photograph in the newspaper. That guy out there, Canning's guard, looks exactly like the real Trilby. There's no, you think he could be the same guy? No. Of course not. He'd be over 200 years old by now. But the resemblance is really creepy. You know what scares me? And this is a theory that I've had for a bit but never voiced. <laughs> That's they, they are continuously cloning Trilby over and over again. Mm. 
Either and that, or they're continuously resurrecting him and brainwashing him every single time. Those are the only two outcomes I can think. Okay. I'm not sure. I had such a horrible nightmare. Better get used to it. There's something about this place. Something in the air, maybe? But I haven't slept well since day one. There was this little kid. In a welding mask. Welding mask? I've had dreams about those too. How can we both be dreaming about welding masks? Because we're both gonna be welders when we get out. Psychic powers? Be serious. My cranny always used to say I was a little bit sensitive. Sure. Have you seen Sam? She said she was going to investigate the hub entrance. And that one doesn't go away. I think okay. I saw the man you're so scared of. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have. What do you mean? I know you probably wonder what scares me about him. But I'm telling you, he just fills me with panic. No, I don't wonder. I don't. Really? I swear. <laughs> yeah, I oh, bet yeah. Theo also was like, no, thank you. <laughs> okay. So we're never going to have right, to talk well, to Janine again? Let's go! Well, at least for this day, right? Like, is the, or in the, outside of cutscenes. It's true. And we hobbled away, hobble, 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 till the very next day. Hey! Got any ointment for these wounds? <laughs> so you know where the... Okay, that's the elevator door. I know, I'm work, walking towards the hub, but I'm just going the long way rather than just going the left. Oh, instead of... I gotcha, no problem. <laughs> Nanny hobble away, hobble, hobble, hobble. I haven't thought about that song in a while, the duck song. Or whatever it's called. Dr. Hardy? Yes, Mr. DeCabe, go ahead. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing? You can help me find a way through the hub security door if you want. <clears throat> it seems that a key card and a passcode are required. Uh, tell me about the extent of my injuries. You, your neck broke an impact on impact. If I, if I hadn't got you into a brace before you regained consciousness, and if you had tried to move, you would be dead. Hmm. You landed on your left side, so your left elbow and humerus are shattered, as is your knee left kneecap. Oh god. There's also a hairline fracture in your skull. Oh. No more, please. I get the picture. <laughs> hey, you asked. What kind of work were you doing for the order? We need answers. I don't know if she's gonna answer this. I told you I'm not prepared to reveal that. I doubt I will change my mind anytime soon. But I asked real nice. Why are you being so secretive? At least oh, tell me what kind of science you are, but I misclicked the wrong one. It's okay. I told you. I would pro it would probably go over your head. Try me. <sighs> okay. I'm a biochemist. I was recruited straight out of university by a medical research company. But I was let go after a couple of years. Why? A difference of opinion. I believe a scientist has to be morally flexible in the name of progress. Oh. The company ethics committee didn't agree. Please don't ask me to give any further details. Why are you being so secretive? <laughs> wow. So she's a bitch. Well, you know. Not she... even get out, might not even get out of this situation alive. She seems nice. Then I guess I'm more of an optimist than you. Personally, I'm in no hurry to die or take part in whatever the order have planned for us. And when I escape, I'd rather I'd rather the specter of this place did not follow me. Who do you think the man in red is? It's Buddha. I honestly have no idea. Until his intervention yesterday, I'd never seen them before. Seems to be on your side, our side, don't you think? So it appeared. But I'd consider it unwise to trust him implicitly. Perhaps his interests only temporarily coinc coincide with ours. I'm worried about Janine. Why? She said she was too afraid to come out and help us. 
I agree, it's strange. She seemed to have a a rather indomitable spunk when we were in the cell. All I can think of is that this place is starting to get to her. Isolation and imprisonment can do strange things to a person. It's true. I think I understand. Where's Janine? I know where Janine is. I'm not asking that because I'm assuming that's another one of those things where it doesn't go away. She's probably in the room. Yeah. I saw the man in red again. He released me from the holding cell. So he knows the order security codes. No, I think I think he teleported me. That's absurd. I swear. There was a flash and the next thing I knew I was in the medical storage room. But if he can teleport people at will, why did he not teleport us out of the complex altogether? If what you say is true, it raises many unsettling questions. That's true. I fear this man is his own agenda, and probably not a benevolent one. But he set me free. I saw some kind of monster. We saw the tall man. Uh, calm down. What did you see? He was like like a man, but, but so tall and thin, like a stick man. Oh no, it's Henry Stickman. His face was just white, <laughs> and he there was blood everywhere. Henry Stickman had gotten a lot different. Hold yourself together, Mr. DeCab. DeCabe. But the monster. Whatever you think you saw, it's gone now. You're safe. I wish I wish I could believe you. How's it going with the security door? Not wonderfully. As far as I can see, there are two security oh. oh god damn it. Something. There are two security panels. One calls for a key card and one other for a numerical passcode. After that, I think two unlocking, two unlocking mechanisms will be un- revealed. Both of which will need to be activated simultaneously. What do you think? In the absence of the keycard and passcode, I, I may be able to force my way through, given the right tools. Then again, maybe we uh, could find the keycard and passcode lying around the complex. Yeah, I'm just considering options right now. Talk to you later. All right. Very well. All right, so we need to find Wait, a what code. What is it that we should be doing right now? We need to find a code. We need to find a code. Um, I'm looking at the uh, the guide here, and the thing that it wants you to do next, I am not entirely sure how it, how it expects you to figure this out. Um, do you have a so hint? I think I'm going to nudge you here. Uh, I, I, I need you to go into the, the, the living quarters area. Which one? It's farther left. Oh, yeah. it's this one. Right? No, it's not that one. It's, it's, it's uh, that one, yeah. With the bed as the image. That makes sense. Um, and, uh, and that locker. Are we supposed to know the code by now? I don't know, but what? Can you flip through all the letters? Just see, see what all the letters are? A-E-I-O-U. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm looking at this and it, it doesn't say... The left door to the hall, open the first door. I'm confused. Okay, yeah, like, I'm really not sure. Is it a Ron? No, not quite. (laughs) Damn it. Ipan? Anan. Iman. Iman. (laughs) Iman. I'm confused. It doesn't say... Okay, okay. I'll help you with this, because I, I really don't know how you're supposed to figure this out. And the guy just says, yeah, enter this. Um, and it must just be from, like, the length of the letters. Like, you know, Wordle style. Which of these words works? Um, but um, just say open. What? You gotta spell open. You gotta spell the word open. That's the puzzle here, I guess. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> No, I can't. I don't. That's just what the guide says, and I and I. It's it's after talking to Samantha. I I don't I don't know. I don't understand why why it wants you to do that. And I'm sorry if we skipped something. I just like you can look at the stuff in there. I guess there are the civilian clothes belonging to one of the cultists. 
There is the stuff on the top shelf as well that's uh, oh, not closed. Oh, key card. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I guess, I, I'm pretty sure that was just like a, I, cause it, I don't know. I don't really understand combo lock, but um, whatever. Sorry if there was a way to find that out. I was just looking at this guide and I'm like, I really don't, don't, don't know. I don't know where this would be. Anyways, we got the key card, so I wonder what that does. Can we look at the key card? Wrong place. It's a magnetic swipe card with the word hub printed on it. So that's gonna be- uh, Well, shit. Well, I guess that's the hub key card. True. So the problem is, is we need a code now. Is it father? Oh, you know, um, oh, okay, hold on. There is one other thing that you just, you, that we haven't tried yet. What? Uh, do you remember that office? It's I think it's that one right here that you're that you're in front of now. This no, one, not the the lock, but the one you're in front of. Yeah, I think that that's the office that that the the Trilby was guarding, right? The Trilby yeah. guy. And so um, we we went in there and rushed the rushed the rushed um, canning, but we didn't look at anything in this area yet. Take the notepad. We use for a blank notepad. Documents. Oh, we just have documents now. Filing cabinet. Paper looks inter interesting. I'll add it to my journal. We live in the universe of technology, or the scientific realm, where magic is very sparse. Our shadow is the universe of magic, or ethereal realm, where magic and magical creatures are abundant. In olden times, it was easier for entities to travel between the realms, hence the old stories of fantastic creatures. The Druid Cabadath, uh, the Druid Cabadath, circa 55 BC, created a bridging portal quite easily, using a comparatively simple ritual. Since then, however, the background level of magic in the scientific realm has faded, and a ritual much larger in scope is required to transport any entity from one realm to the other. The ritual calls for the creation of, and sacrifice of a bridge, a living creature with ties to both realms, usually an entity born in the scientific realm, but later having their aspects imbued with magic. When all three of the bridge's aspects, body, mind, and soul, are annihilated in conjunction, echoes of weakness ripple through the membrane between the realms, and a portal can be opened. Exactly how long the portal remains open depends on the, the puissance of the bridge. I don't know what that means. No, neither. Let's check the desk. There aren't any drawers, and there's nothing much of interest on the desktop. Passance means... We can look at the notepad, the top page of the corner, off, judging by the indentation. Someone wrote down a series of numbers I can't quite make out. Oh. Make out. Hey, yo. Let's use the computer. It's like Canning left some kind of environmental control program open. Release level one security. Oh. Let's release every level of security. Not available from Not this available terminal. Not available from this terminal. Level three probably is the same, yeah. Cycle, Cycle ventilators. ventilators. reset their mistat. That doesn't seem like it's gonna do a whole lot, but cool. Mm -hmm. Cycling. At least we know we can do so it. So there's, there's something that we can't quite make out on the paper. Is there any way we can figure out what it says? It wasn't the notepad, right? It was the... Oh, no, it is that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't quite make it out. Oh, oh yeah, the indentations. Yeah, no, I guess... Never mind. Don't worry about it. Let's go to the security room now that we've released level one. Well, yeah, we've done that. So that might... That might, uh... Help. I don't think that's the security room. Oh, you're right. No. This is just where it's we're the one all the way on the canning. Way. Yeah, there's the door all the way on the right that wouldn't open before, and then there's also the security room. Yeah. And, and, and either of those places might be open. Try in here first because it's closer. Oh. Oh. Ah. Change camera. Oh, shit. Okay. Huh? Hmm. Interesting. Camera 5 says restricted. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Current input. 
review input. Oh, so it's going back. So it's Canyon working at his desk. There's something written on the notepad on the corner of the desk, but I can't quite make it out. Ah. Oh. Can we review in the, the input again? Maybe. Oh. Try it. We mess with the security camera. Hmm. So it didn't seem to change anything. Current input? Should I click that? Well, what about... I mean, like, if you can't quite make it out, what, what might be a way to fix that? Download the image? I mean, let's try it. See what happens. Download the image into my cell phone. Hmm. Well, maybe that just means you can show it to somebody. Um, should we... Should we change the camera? Try to change the camera to five. See what happens. Oh, shit. Ooh. But I don't know what that would be. Okay. Here, I'll help you. So, so uh, get review input. Mm-hmm. Um, now, so look, you can't quite make out what the numbers are, but that's not a problem with the screen. Uh. And what Theo the... DeCabe wore glasses. Oh shit! So we used the spectacle on it, or the lens, lens. more. The surviving lens. That's it. I there can make go. out the numbers on the notepad. Seven seven five nine. Maybe this is the path code for the blast door. Seven seven five Maybe. nine. Is that what that said? No, it wasn't for the security thing, I guess. So it must be, I guess we try the blast door. It's true. Cool. And can we try We got this a key now? card and we got that. Sure. Nope. Nah. Not yet. Must be a later security level. Yep. Dr. Hardy, look. Found a key card. What wonderful. Of course, without the passcode as well, it wouldn't it isn't much use. But we have the password. Uh, try maybe, uh, maybe uh, sh try the phone or or talk because I don't know the phone has an image on it. Um, Doctor also... Hardy. Yes, Mr. Dakab, De go ahead. Found the key okay, card and the that. passcode. You have. Considering your limitations, this is very impressive. Use them in the panels either uh, in the panels either side of the security door. Okay, talk to you later. Very well. Um, try the... Try the, uh, other panel, I guess? Or maybe by instead of panel, uh, she meant, um, the, the, the buttons. Well, oh, slot. Oh, yeah, the, the left says slot and the right says keypad. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Do you remember the code? 7759. Cool, yeah. I would have forgotten it if I was just playing. <laughs> I'm good with numbers, usually. Mm -hmm. Excellent work, Mr. DeCabe. I wouldn't have thought a bureaucrat would have such a head on his shoulders. Fuck you. <laughs> I hope that was a compliment. Damn it, he is a Now, I dumb. think we need to turn turn both wheels simultaneously. She, she, can you manage? Mm-hmm. It's no use, I need both hands free. I see, then we're going to need another pair of hands. We're gonna force Janine up, need... Oh, leave it to me, I guess. Damn it, we gotta go talk to Janine again. Uh, you can call her instead of going over there. Oh, okay. Janine. Janine? Yes? We need your help to open the hub. Oh, I don't think I could. You have to, Janine. You're the only one who can help us. We'll just get it open, then we can get out. 
I know, but what if I run into him? Look, there's no one else around. Canning is in the cell. His guard, his guard's dead. Dead? Aside from us three, nothing else is moving, I'm certain. Come now, let's start ticket out. Uh, okay, I'll be there soon. Ready? Already? Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Three, two, one, go. Yo, Frida! Wolverine! Doesn't look like an elevator to me. I don't see anything. Wait here. I'll check it out. Shit, she's gonna die, huh? Do you trust her? Do you? I wonder if she gave me any reason to. I know what you mean. But right now, she seems like our best hope of getting out of here. Even so. There's gotta be a reason why she doesn't want us to know about her work. And I'm not sure we should trust her to go there, in there alone. Hey, after you, man. Shit. Oh. Dr. Hardy? <gasps> yep, just as I thought. Ding dong, the wicked bitch is dead. Aren't you going to say something? I can't think of anything. I can. We're going to die down here. Don't say that. We're not going to die. We can't get back into the hub. If we, if can, we can, get, get back in the hub. You don't get it. He won't. He won't let us out. He won't let me out. You have to stop him. What are you talking about? I see you. I see what you are. You're the one who did this to me. I didn't do anything to you. Why won't you stop him? How many times do you have to kill him? Janine, you're not making any sense. You're mistaking me for someone else. Mr. Decay. Yes. I'm sorry, I... Leave me alone. Janine! Go out there if I were Buddha. You. Night has fallen. The prince is on patrol. What about Janine? She is in no danger. At least not from him. Remain here until morning. Tell me who you are, Buddha. Are you with the cult? My identity is meaningless. That's what Buddha would say. I am just an avatar, and I have no allegiances. If you're not with the cult, help us get out of here. It'll go so badly for you if you don't. There's gonna be some serious police action after this, I promise you. I cannot do that. Why not? Because that is not how it goes. Oh, give me strength. You seem very confident that you will escape from this place. Of course I am. Why? Because if I wasn't, I'd go insane. Why resist? Screw you, whoever you are. I wonder if Buddhism will still be a thing in 2189. Probably. Well, well, Buddhism what are we has do lasted now? for years upon years, so it, ha it will probably last far, far way into the future. It's like every other religion, probably. Except for the ones that yeah. won't. Yeah. Like the dumb ones. Yeah, sure. Like the dumb yeah. ones. I'm not going to specify yeah. which ones are the dumb ones, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, we... Well, what are we going to do now? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Into the closet. You won't open. Open. There's nothing more I can do. I didn't know you were who you were, Dr. Hardy, or what you were hiding from me, but I know you didn't deserve this, and as soon as we get out of here, I'll make sure you're buried properly. Can I go out this way? All right, well, I guess we gotta ignore his warning and just leave. Mm -hmm. well, what's happening? Father, not man. Janine, can you hear me? What the fuck? Who the hell do you think you are? Oh god, stop this.
stop what? You're the one pretending to be me. Oh shit. Sleep. Day three. Alright. Uh twenty six. Why twenty six? Oh god. Fourth is twenty seventh and fifth is twenty eighth. Yep. That's gonna be a day. Twenty eighth, ugh my head. I forgot to read this. I don't remember falling asleep. I've got to find out what's in the hub before anyone tries to go inside it again. But we're going to have to find out what's in the hub next time. True. What's in the hub, Araya? Well, clearly whatever it was must have killed uh, Dr. Hardy. It's true. The only hub I've ever heard <laughs> of is Pornhub. How are you feeling about this game so far? This is, a, this is I don't know what's going on. The wit ding Isn't dong, it? the wicked bitch is dead. Can, can we? We've done two days, and I can't help but notice that each day has been a whole episode. It's true. So we might. This might be a six episode. Like series. a full episode. It might be. Yeah, yeah, it might be. So we might have to do the first half, half of it before my trip, and the second half after. Yeah, we could do the third episode after this if you're still down, and then we. Yeah, but like that's why I'm saying the first half because we do three. Yeah. Because if if it was faster, then maybe we'd be able to do it. But I don't think that we're we have another what like four hours to kill. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's just me who's thinking that way. But I got packing to do and stuff, and I got work tomorrow, so it's probably not a good idea to be up till like one at one a.m. or something. Yeah, probably not. And as much as as much as I'd enjoy to finish this game, we could do it after your trip. Exactly. And I'll write. I'll, I'll take some notes just in case. I'm sure I won't forget about it. Yeah. But still. Um. Whack. This is all very interesting. Uh. We got our first death. This game is. This game. I don't know. I think this is the best game in the series. Mm-hmm. I think. I think. The, there's there's a little bit of weird adventure game stuff still um, that we've been having to sort through. Yeah. Um, but like, I don't know. I I I, I quite like the the dialogue and the and the mystery and the and what's happening here. Yeah. So we're like, what is going on? You have a theory. It's true. You have a theory that they're troning. That they're is being cloned. Krilby. They're troning Krilby. Troning Krilby. What? I said. I said troning. Krillby for us. I was about to Krillby? say that, and I was Krill like, no, that's is in, like the, f the the fish cloning Krillby. Yeah, clearly. Um, um, so that that will be interesting to see. So um, my question of the day is, people, uh, which one is the stupid religion? <laughs> <laughs> we oh, need no. we need to figure out. We need we oh, need no. we need to separate. Oh, we, need, we need to segregate the audience into. <laughs> I think I think the Order of Blessed Agonies is a pretty stupid religion. I th I was thinking about Scientology. <laughs> Oh boy, you're gonna you're gonna get us killed. Sure hope so. They didn't oh kill no. South Park. <laughs> it's true. They didn't they didn't kill Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Yeah, Matt Stone and Trey Parker are okay. Um Us on the other hand are probably gonna get murdered because we're a lot smaller. <laughs> it's true. They're gonna hit us with no. a defamation case. What are we gonna do then? Yeah. Well, it's true that Calling something a dumb religion is not like worthy of defamation. It's true. We'll just send them. Um, we'll send them uh, the fu fucking song that they made after PewDiePie got a defamation lawsuit from fucking <laughs> from from T Series. Yeah. We're gonna send them congratulations. That, the where it's like still not defamation. <laughs> congratulations! It's a celebration. Got a letter in the post. Mm, huh. what, what is, is this? T-Series saying cease and desist. They got a problem with me telling them to hold their defecation but Let me educate you, ma'am. That's, That's not, not defamation. defamation. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. Listen, I don't even like watch PewDiePie. <laughs> I do. I do. I, I love I, him. I grew up with him. Mm -hmm. um, I, I never really have watched PewDiePie. Like, I've seen some of his videos. I just... He, his, he's never been like the kind of content that I've li li been able to enjoy, and because of that, I haven't really like even done a whole lot of research. I've known I've known that he's he's gone and gotten into a few controversies over the years. It's true. Um, I can't pretend to be an uh, expert on those controversies. That's why I, nobody can walk across that one bridge on P PUBG anymore. But uh. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. That's what, uh, it, but, yeah, oh, that, was uh, a, that was a song that was a thing when it came out. Yeah. 
he, uh, yeah, I love PewDiePie. He, uh, uh, I won't explain the PUBG controversy. Um, but, uh, well, it's simple. He said the N word is what happened on the bridge. Yeah, of course he did. And that's, <laughs> and that's why we're, we're, we're not supposed, well, every time that I play PUBG with anybody and we're crossing that bridge, I always stop talking. <laughs> Just like, yeah. Like as a joke, where I'm just like, we we uh, this bridge is cursed, man. It's gonna happen to me next. Um, I see. It's 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 one of the weirdest things. Is that's how he he lost like his sponsorship with like, like I think he was working with Disney at one point, and then they dropped him, and he got dropped. <laughs> he got dropped by YouTube, yeah, that makes sense. YouTube for his YouTube Red series he was doing. Yeah, yeah, the scare PewDiePie thing. Yeah, I remember that being, that being like, okay, well they, they were a little bit over the top with with cutting that off mm -hmm. um i don't know i feel like i feel like he's not a like an unkind person like he's no, a kind he's, person he's a cool dude although you know i mean i think he was just part of me isn't sure at, at one point yeah yeah but part of me isn't sure he like totally understands why saying slurs are bad i think now he would but i feel like at that point he probably didn't um actually he yeah. did i think he the, dude, the thing is, he did that live on stream, and the chat that didn't even, like, freak out about it. The chat was just chilling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, like, I, like again, 20, this isn't something like, that I'm judging his character or anything. You yeah, know, like, I, I, like, it was like 2016 he's done a, or something. Like, I've, I've been around enough that I, I, I do think he has a lot of good intentions. And I do think that he's a, he's a kind person. Yeah. I don't think he was super educated on why you shouldn't say slurs and he slipped up even though he knew that you shouldn't yeah and that is like i don't know like that's not a that's not a, like a judgment of his character per se mm -hmm. uh, and maybe maybe he understands better now it's just a yeah. unfortunate consequence of of cancel culture rather than educating people you know yeah for sure i think people need to be educated on, on why things like this are so harmful Darn. rather than punished for something that clearly wasn't intended to be hateful you know no, of course not that's how i feel about it it's funny be like it's kind of funny because like he his co the comment section for like clips that get posted sometimes is just like a lot of people of of that race who, who will start texting he can say it's chill come on give it back his series and yeah, i'm like bro but... <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's that's too, that's also not yeah it's not solution. good it's it's not a good solution <laughs> i just find it find it funny that like yeah I, like the whole comment section which is like damn like i i don't see a problem with this where there is a problem with it but you know it was like 2016 yeah. or so where yeah. saying slurs was a lot more commonplace which i'm not saying is right yeah. i'm just saying i re i remember that time in youtube history yeah for sure and, and, and again like i don't like personally hold it against pewdiepie um, it's more so. And, more you know, I, I would, I would be, I, I, I would be more passionate. People. Yeah, that's fair. I, I, and I would be more passionate about either against or for him if I like ended up looking more into the situation, probably. Yeah. Um, and you know, maybe for him or whatever. And and then I would do that if I like enjoyed his content more. But like, regardless of if he's a good person or not, his content just has never really appealed to me. Yeah. Other than some of like the songs he did, which I thought were great. Yeah. Bits lasagna and and, and congratulations for and great. Coco. Um. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that one too. Like Coco was also great. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. Um, I think Mr. Beast passed him in subs. Does that mean Mr. Beast is gonna get a diss track? <laughs> oh god. No, no. He already, uh, he already did a video where he was just like, yeah, uh, Mr. Beast passed me in subs, so that's pretty cool. We're crazy, and then just talked about philosophy books for the rest of the video. That makes sense. I didn't see that video. I think it's only corporations. It was like that six he's, months he's ago. Do the, the I, 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 yeah, I watched that video. I mean, like. You know, it, it is because it was a corporation that was the disc, disc track, right? Yeah. Like, if a YouTuber passes him, like Mr. Beast, and you know, that, that's well earned. Yes, he's like know? an actual YouTuber rather than these the big corporations. Yeah. It's it's nuts to me how corporatized all of YouTube has gotten at this point. Absolutely. What a weird time. I mean, Anyways, you know, Mr. Beast even is a corporation. Anyway, this is this is this is not important. What I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to say is since since apparently according to Araya we're gonna get in trouble picking a stupid religion. What are your thoughts on PewDiePie? No, I was <laughs> I was just I was just being silly. I wasn't actually serious about it. It's true. <laughs> but I feel like some people might be uncomfortable with the first question, so if you it's are true. then the it's second true. question is what are your thoughts on PewDiePie? Um There we go, backup question. I grew up with 
I grew up with PewDiePie, so I feel a certain type of way. I followed the whole T-Series battle as it was happening back in 2018. I mean, it was everywhere, it's so true. of course I was, I was, I was for it. And I was even like, yeah, subscribe to PewDiePie just because, like, fuck T-Series. Yeah, it's true. Like, just fuck, like, fuck, I, I, I stand against the corporate takeover of... YouTube, you know, in general, the number yeah. one channel and YouTube in general and all that stuff. Because so, that marked, so, I feel yeah, like that marked I was a certain like line in the sand of whenever that, that happened. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Anyhow, I agree. Uh, I remember the day that he got passed so clearly. That's nuts. I remember like coming yeah, home every day and checking the fucking the fucking sub count. I remember that they made that song like way before they actually got passed. Yeah, because everyone worked so hard to keep him as number one. And then once he got passed, he made congratulations, and I'm just sitting there crying. And then, he, and then he. Shit's great. But then congratulations, like, made him pass T Series again for and then, a brief and moment. And then he got repassed, and it was very funny. Yeah. To me, yeah. <laughs> I fucking loved PewDiePie. I don't know. I'm really sad that, uh, some, like, the Boy in a Band, there was all that controversy with him. Because he was yeah, involved in that song. Too. It makes me sad. Anyhow, before we continue to talk about all the YouTube controversy that I have... That's a, that I another have, story that I would really not like to publicly comment no, on. No, right I wouldn't like to talk about it either. I'm just saying it makes me sad. Anyways, before Absolutely I, I, I divulge sad. all of YouTube drama's history onto you, that I probably <laughs> could because my, my original foyer in, into YouTube was a lot of commentary channels. Um, or at least part of my original foyer, after watching tons of Smosh, Techno, and stuff, uh, there was a point where I was hugely into commentary, so I could probably explain oh, to tons, tons of Oh, welcome back stuff. Smosh, by the way. Yeah, welcome back Smosh. Smosh, uh, I mean, Smosh was never, like, gone. Gone. I've like, Smosh was, was, was for, run by cool people for a while. I just mean, like, welcome, welcome back, back, OG back Smosh. to Smosh sketches, yeah, the, original, Smosh. the original, like, Smosh stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's great. And, um, I can't wait to get my hands yeah, on those I really like, Swift I tickets. really like their new sketch, and, and I um, like Anthony Padilla a lot. I, I, I like, I, I never, like, I watched a couple episodes of Smosh here and there and found they were funny as a kid, but I never, like, got really into it. Yeah. Um, but I followed Anthony Padilla afterwards. I love his I Spent a Day With series, and that's, like, and, you know, I know that's what he's, like, most famous for at this, at this point outside of Smosh, and mm -hmm. maybe even at this point, period. But, um... But I don't know. I, I, I like I like him a lot. I think he's a really cool person. I think he's grown a lot just like Ian has. And I think I'm so happy that they're back together and doing Smosh again, like today. And I think I and I you know I'm 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 all on board. I'm subscribed now. I, I'm I'm here for Smosh these days. Um, Smosh is great. Um, I've also been going back and looking at some of like the Smosh, the other Smosh stuff. Um, I've been watching and I, them you know, the, like the most recent for stuff. So it. It's pretty cool. And it's it's so cool being someone who's yeah. been watching. Is that. that where you got? Is that where you got whack with an H from? No. Okay, because they used whack with an H on on Smosh Pit. They did. Yeah. Oh. Once, like when I was, the subtitles captured it with an H. Oh, and... I did. I didn't know that. No, whack with an H. <laughs> yeah, I don't me. actually know. I, I was trying to figure out if it was a bit or not. If it was like that, that it was with an H. I was trying to figure out how connected it was. Because there's a few things like something was said, oh, this is whack. Or like it was the, the way that it was phrased. I was like, huh, I, you know, this is interesting. I didn't steal oh. whack with an H. Whack with an H is mine. Okay. Um, okay. I, I don't know. I don't think I watched I that particular you. Smosh Pit video. Yeah, probably not. I mean, it, it might it might not be a bit like a recurring thing. It probably isn't. Just, sometimes like, some, they act like somebody. things are recurring. Recurring other times that they 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 actually are. It's very confusing. The try not to laugh videos have a lot of recurring bits, stuff like that. Yeah, I think it was try not to. I think it was the one that Anthony was on though. Maybe, no, maybe it wasn't that one. Because because I I, I, I I don't remember. I I have no idea. Whack with an H is something that I've just always. I've just always spelled it with an H. Well, everyone else does it with an I with with no H, and I've always thought, like, just in my brain, I've always thought it that needs an H. So I put the H. Mm. Um, yeah, why not? Whack with an H will be my sm my 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 uh, my. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make a fucking sketch comedy channel. We're gonna call it Whack with an H. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but sketch comedy would be really fun. Like I said, that was like a big yeah, I would love to thing do I was into whenever I first started. I definitely would love to try out some sketch comedy with you eventually. That'd be fun. Um, I don't know why. It's very weird. So many YouTubers influenced me whenever I first got into YouTube, but Smosh, I've been, pro I've probably seen every Smosh video, or at least of their original that, sketches. I've seen all of them. That makes sense. 
because I wow, I, we're just rambling I love about them so much. YouTube. I love them so much. I. I, I yeah. could, dude, I would love to have a conversation with someone who ha has like an extensive, an extensive idea on channels that I also know about, and we could just go on for hours. The problem is that that this isn't that space. So anyhow, thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below. Tell us what you thought. Subscribe. Post notifications. If you want to see what we're doing next, go to orionj.com. That's where all our socials are. Two, I'd like to shout out specifically our A, our Buy Me a Coffee page, which we deserve all the money in the world and, and more, actually. Uh, we're going to start stealing from extraterrestrials, too. Um, I wonder if wow. our currency would work for us. Or would it be? It'd be more valuable, probably. Um, and also... Uh, we're stealing from animals too. Um, <laughs> we're stealing every form of currency we can get our hands on. So from wherever you are, go to your local bank, rob it, and then send the money to us. Oh God, for legal reasons, please do not rob a bank. For legal reasons, I'm not continuing that statement. Um, <laughs> listen, if they do it, that's not on me. Say so. I hold no responsibility. Um, whatever if they whatever helps anything. you sleep at night. I sleep. Um, I don't sleep at night, actually. <laughs> that being said. Uh, yeah. Also, buy our merch because our merch is cool, and we and Araya tests it all to make sure that it's quality before we even sell it to you. So yeah. it is overpriced. Just just know that we are aware it's overpriced, and yeah. we don't really have control over it. But if you you know if you'd like a cool trinket, then it's 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 certainly there. Something that you can do. Yeah, for sure. Um, My dogs are going crazy. Unfortunately, that's not something I can control. That's not something I can control. The dogs control, or the really. overpriced. The, the dogs and the overpriced thing. Both of those things. Unfortunately, I, control. I, I have lots of dogs. Um, also, yeah, just just buy our stuff. We think it's cool. Gorilla Marketing buys many ca ca of, of the fucking CAPTCHA. Cap is it, no, CAPTCHA isn't what it is. The QR code. QR, buy as many QR code stickers as you can and then stick them everywhere. If, just if, you, ever have, if you ever have a want to van vandalize something, Buy our, uh, buy our QR sti stickers and stick them in places that they obvi obviously um, shouldn't be. Gosh, any we are we are not responsible for any for any vandalism caused by our QR code. Exactly, I, I can tell them to do it, but uh, I, I, how am I supposed to know they're actually going to do it? You know, I was joking, wink, wink. No, Let me no. tell them not to do it. Yeah, you I, tell, them, tell not them not to, to and it. I'll tell them to do because it. Because you then... shouldn't do it, guys. That's a bad idea. But, if, but I mean, get the stickers, right? Buy the stickers. And like, maybe if you see like a pole that's like covered in stickers, you can throw it on there, or like on any board that you like to put a bunch of stuff on. Put it on there on Stick your laptop. Stick it specifically on the places where they say do not put stickers here <laughs> put it anywhere where you are where, where, where stickers like anywhere you can something. reach honestly is a perfect place to put it <laughs> i'm sure okay well i hope you guys have a great day night time at whatever time <laughs> it is for you and hopefully you don't end up in a jail cell for doing what what you feel like doing and not what i told you to do listen hope to you me have a great day night me. whatever time it is for you and goodbye Love y'all. Nah, I've I realized goodbye. Goodbye is dumb, so I'm going to say goodbye. Idiots. <laughs>